Okay, we're here in the Tiburon Mill Valley area at a tiny house and uh, somebody bought one of these internet air conditioning units and they asked the contractor who was building this, sorry for no light, this little tiny house here. It's a kind of classic barn style. And so when I walked up to this, I already started and I found part of the problem. They said it wouldn't run. It makes noise. So I turned it on. It makes noise. It blows inside. And of course, let's see what we had. We had a general contractor do this. And he used water plumbing tape to try to seal the system. And when I did try to run it, I put my fingers, the temperature was cool on both of them, and it's about 59 degrees, and it's like 59, 59. Um, I have vibration from the motor inside, apparently. But when I pull the caps off, they look like they're kind of down. That one definitely looks down. So, looks like he installed it. And uh, let's see, um, right here, this big sticker, lines need to be evacuated okay so apparently he doesn't know what evacuated means apparently he doesn't know what these mean and the manual has nice pictures explaining to you how to do this even if you can't read english and you have an iq of two and you can't chew bubble gum and walk at the same time he still did not open these and uh they've been trying to get this working for the last while so these are friends of a friend and um, I will take these apart most likely uh, they weren't even flared correctly actually let's let's see let's see how tight or loose okay I need two. they they put them on real tight you should always use two wrenches when taking these apart so let's go through the process of undoing a contractor's work well, I hold a phone in one hand and try to do this with the other hand. Let's see what joys we we find here. And it looks like I'm going to have to put this down. Sorry, guys. Well, I could tell you for a fact, the little one was about the, almost the right tightness. The large one was way too loose. And remember, always use two wrenches. Hold, and then use your other nut. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, do we got pi we got pipe dope. Oh, beautiful. We're using water pipe dope on flared fittings. We got a winner, a double winner. Not only does he use pipe thread, uh, Teflon tape, he uses pipe dope inside the pipes. Okay, so we're talking to a rocket science here. Oh God, why does this have to happen over and over and over again? So apparently they can't read English and they can't read pitch. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, isn't this classic? Oh my God. Yes, baby. We got Einstein here, man. We got Ted Bundy, Homer Simpson, and the Three Stooges. Yes, let's plug up the system. Okay, so. We know we have somebody of a sub two digit IQ putting this system together. So, okay, now I'm gonna stop right here. This is the end of this video for right now because I'm gonna remake these threads and um, I'm also gonna have to take the part to inside because if um, Homer Simpson did this out here, we can imagine what Homer Simpson did on the inside. But let's just take a look at the inside.
Now, if a customer tried to install this themselves, I don't give them no guff over this. That's okay because, you know, they don't know. They're not supposed to know. And they just do what they've seen in the past. It's a pipe. You should put some to to uh, tape on it, some pipe dope and stuff like that. But if this is a so-called contractor or somebody in the trades who did this, uh, you get your license pulled. You get your wee-wee slapped. And, uh, I don't know, maybe we'll do a liposuction on one nut. And, uh... And then let you back into trades okay so I think this was oh I'm gonna have fun on this uh, I could see oh this was gonna leak water anyway the insulation there is ripped and uh, yeah this was just gonna leak water all over down the system and it looks like the side standing out a little bit oh yeah it's not even attached Oh yeah, see the pipe right there? That's just gonna leak water all down the side of the road. Uh, is that attached? Yeah, I'll figure something out here. I think it appears that the drain line is going up instead of down. From what I'm seeing right there, if you see that drain, it's actually going in an upward angle. So the water would not flow out. So they would definitely have another problem there, even if they didn't have bad insulation. So yeah, this, uh, if anybody in the trades installed this, about the only thing they should get is an application to McDonald's or a janitorial service, but have nothing to do in this profession whatsoever.